Welcome back, my wasted youth. This is Rev taking you through Pokemon Special Pikachu Edition. When last we left our intrepid hero, we had just come into Celadon City, where two of the first three people we saw were Team Rocket. This place is obviously infested. Instead of dealing with them, we actually just came into the C Celadon City Gym to deal with Erica. We haven't got there quite yet, and there is still one new Pokemon we haven't seen yet. Erica has it, so we will see it in just a moment. But now for this trainer. Aren't I the peeping Tom? No, he's outside. You mean the old guy, right? Yeah, he's still out there. Okay, this particular junior trainer female has got a level 24 Bulbasaur and a level 24 Ivasaur. Now, I am actually just going to use Pidgeotto and Quick Attack to start with. All we're going to do is just see how badly this goes, and if I need to, I will switch into Charmeleon. Because, as we know, fire and plant life don't mix. But, right now it actually looks pretty good, and Pidgeotto looks like it's doing pretty well. So with that last quick attack, Bulbasaur is down, and Ivasaur comes out. We are still going to quick attack. Pidgeotto is now seated, so it is going to lose some some uh, HP, but I'm not really all that worried about it. Now it doesn't look like quick attack is doing all that much, and with every attack, Ivasaur is actually gaining HP back. I am going to use Gust to see how much damage it does. And it doesn't really do all that much either. And now we're poisoned. Yay! Okay, well, I am actually going to switch into Charmeleon now. And here comes Leech Seed. I'm not worried about that at all, but Ember, I think, will do pretty well. Now, and wonderful! So Charmeleon has now defeated Ivasaur, and we defeat that junior trainer female. You're in shock. Why? Because I'm not the Peeping Tom? No, I, I wasn't. Yeah, I, I get that. But, you know, you might want to call a cop or somebody who... Well, you know, that last guy I saw, he wasn't a cop. Nor do I care to be, even if they decide to return my phone calls. Anyway. Hi! You were getting bored. Well, get ready to fight then. Okay, so now this particular beauty has got four for us. She has got two level 21 Oddish and two level 21 Bellsprout. Yeah, Bellsprout. So this could be very, very, very bad, but I think that Pidgeotto's Quick Attack will actually do pretty well with it. Since we are poisoned, that means we can't be stunned. No other status effects can happen, which means... um. Granted, I'll take the poison. Pidgeotto is probably going to get hit with Wrap, and of course that is what's going to happen. But, we can't be slowed down, and there's a lot of other things that just can't happen. So I think the Quick Attack is still going to work pretty well. And so with that, now we've got only one more Oddish and one more Bellsprout. So we, can, we will not have that full paralysis like we normally do when Pidgeotto is fighting these things. We're just going to continue to slowly take damage, and ultimately I'm okay with that. With uh, what's looking like two attacks to wipe out the enemies, um, I think we should be able to have uh, enough HP to finish the, these things off. He isn't seated, and there we go. With that one, one quick attack. Bellsprout is down, Pidgeotto is now at level 29, and we have defeated the beauty. Your makeup, after all that, you're worried about your makeup? Are you still bored? Yes, they are, that's why we didn't use any. I, I agree with that too, and that's why we didn't use any of those either. Okay, now let's take on Erica. I have gone back and I have healed my Pokemon up, and I have switched them around. I know what's coming, so I don't want to take any chances. Here is Erica's new Pokemon for us. Tangela is a grass type that doesn't evolve. 
At level 1, it learns constrict and bind, but since this is yellow, it doesn't learn bind until level 24. It learns absorb at level 27, and exclusive to Pokemon Yellow, it learns vine whip at level 29. Now it's got good HP, defense, and special, but it is still relatively slow. Tangela got its name, of course, from the word tangle, and possibly the name Angela, but I doubt that. Its original name was supposed to be Medusa. So, now let's take her out. Um, yeah, it is. Yeah, I agree. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, hello. Well, it's nice to meet you. Oh, really? Do you do any battling in this gym? Yeah, I kinda, yeah. I would like that rainbow badge. Okay, so here we go. And Erica is gonna bring out three of them. All three are going to be tough. This is that level 30 Tangela. And yeah, we're bringing in Charman, Charmeleon, excuse me. Well, this one's kind of a bit of a risky play because, oh, beautiful. That could not have gone better. Um, Charmander, or Charmeleon, excuse me, is at a level that is high enough now that if it decides to just stop playing, it will. And it will not listen to whatever command we have for it. Now, this Weepin' Bell has got acid. And acid will hurt us a lot. A lot. This is not going to be an easy fight. Now, we should be able to make it through Weepin' Bell, but that Gloom has acid too. So, this could get very fun. Now, with that, Charmeleon has defeated two of the three, but I think I'm going to give this one more shot, and if Gloom ends up using acid, I've got to pull Charmeleon. And that's, oh, oh, that's too bad. Okay, well, in this case, let's see if this works. I know this is totally unorthodox, but I want to see if Bite actually works. And, of course, no, it doesn't. Which is fine. No damage to Wartortle, it's just a sleep. Well, now, here is a bit of an unconventional deal as well. Plant versus plant. Acid shouldn't do, whoa. Or maybe it will. I know that anything that we are going to do will not really affect Gloom all that much, but I'm kind of hoping that that acid won't really mess us up. And it is kind of looking like it's going to do exactly that. Now hopefully we're going to be able to take it... Oh, I guess not. Take it out enough that we'd be okay. So let's try Pidgeotto and Quick Attack and see if we can actually get through this without losing any more. Almost. Oh, oh no. No, no, no. This is bad. This is very, very bad, because Acid is going to eat right through Pidgeotto. So let's just hope on this one. We might have two more shots, possibly three out of Acid. So this has to end pretty quickly. Okay, one more Acid shot, and okay, good, we made it. We did it. Gloom is now gone. And hey, we only lost two Pokemon in a fight that I thought, honestly, was going to be a lot worse than it was. And we have defeated Erica. Well, thank you very much, but wow. I would have been okay with just Charmeleon going down, but, you know, I guess they both had to. Now this is what we wanted. Pokemon up to level 50 will now obey, so all of a sudden, all that pressure is off, which is beautiful. Well, thank you very much, and we received TM21. Mega Drain, oh, neat, so it's like absorb, but boosted, beautiful. Okay, Pikachu, you know the drill, we have just defeated our fourth gym leader, what do you think? Oh, very nice. And we are now out of here. We have got a lot of healing to do, but more importantly, we have got a lot left of the city to see. So, let's take a look at the plaque and see if we're on it now. Yes, we are. Right on. Now, we already know that the people at Game Freak had spent six years with no salary 
to create this game based on the hope that it would actually sell. And fortunately it did. We know that um, Morimoto's inclusion of Mew boosted sales three to four hundred percent. So what happened next? Don't touch the poster at the game corner. No secret switch behind it. Poster at the game corner, no secret switch. Got it. Chief? 2,000 Pokemon as slot prizes. Hey man, that's incredible. Slots are... Whoa! Hey, yeah, of course. Okay, so don't touch the poster. No secret switch. Gotcha. Hi. Oh, your team rocket. Well, I was looking at you, so I guess I'm staring at nothing. Oh. Hello. Well, yeah. Table lost it all. Oh, no. See, that's not good. Hi. Okay, so I guess you're not going to feed me then. Okay. Hi. Basement under the game. Okay, but that has nothing to do with the poster and no switch behind the poster, right? Okay. I'm going to. Oh, you see, that's not funny. Okay. And there we go. We cannot go with any of the slot machines until we get that coin case. So... Now that we've seen a little bit of this area, let's continue to take a look and see what else we can find. Whoa, you blew it all in the slots? Yeah, you probably should have. Well, now the next logical move for Game Freak was to continue marketing their product. I mean, the reality is that you cannot have even the greatest product in the world without marketing it. Now, what you want to do here is go up and around the city, just the outside of the city, and come into the back of this building, and then continue walking up these stairs. So, what Game Freak ended up doing was they created a trading card game, and they used Mew as a promotional to promote their trading card game, which in turn promoted the mythos of Mew and they kind of let it slip that it was possible to catch Mew in the game. Now there are really a lot of things of interest in this room. This is a pamphlet on TMs. There are 50 in all. There are also five HMs that can be used repeatedly. Nice! Hi! Oh, do you now? Okay, thank you very much. Now what is this? Trainer tips. Okay, now, for the sake of this, we will not be doing anything in this walkthrough that involves a game link cable. But this is still good to know. When you have linked your Game Boy with another Game Boy, talk to the attendant on the right in any Pokemon Center. Coliseum lets you play against a friend. And Trade Center is used for trading Pokemon. Okay. Now, on this table is a Pokeball. What could possibly be in this Pokeball? Will you look at that? No, I don't. So, it's just going to be sent to our PC. My bet is that Gary has left his Eevee here. It's not true, but it sounds good, doesn't it? Now, what that rumor ended up doing was increasing the sales of Pocket Monsters Red and Pocket Monsters Green between 3 and 400 percent. In 1998, U.S. sales of Game Boy cartridges were 3.5 million units. In 1999, sales had gone up to 8 million units. Well, that's absolutely massive. Now, unfortunately, we are running low on time. So, after we talk to this particular man and his three Pokémon, I'm going to have to call it for the episode. Hi! Oh, well that's good! Really? Yes, I do! Well, thank you! Okay! 
So with that, I've got to let you go. This has been Rev taking you through Pokemon Special Pikachu Edition. Till next time.